Hello everybody, my name is Nemo and you, you are watching me play the Magic the Gathering Jewel the Planeswalkers 2013 Expansion or Revenge campaign. Last episode we defeated the Zorius, the episode before it the Selesnia. This episode we are defeating Rakdos, or Rakdos is defeating me. Well, we'll find out, shall we? So, this is the deck I want to play against him. And as always, I'm making sure that I'm not playing any of the decks I've already played. So, I want to play all five decks. But I don't want to play any mirror matches. And that's my only rule here. Um, see, I like this hand because of Hero of Bladel. Because Hero of Bladel is ridiculously good. But I do think it's too slow. This hand is a little bit faster. I need some land. But, come on, I've got two of the most powerful cards in, in the game. Like, I can't say no to this hand with Midnight Haunting and Hero Blade holding hand. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna hope to draw two forests anytime soon and then I'm gonna be happy. See, there's already one forest, so I can at least already play this. And it makes... Oh. So, Midnight Haunting makes two spirit tokens with flying. Um, and this makes all tokens get plus one. Plus one and a Vigilance. Now I'm playing, this is the token deck. Um, we've seen this already when I defeated it. And he is playing a uh, Rakdos deck, which uh, has a lot of stuff that comes onto the board and, and, and already uh, deals me damage or has some kind of ability to deal me damage. Like this one, each player loses one life. So it has a lot of things that can take, uh, take away life from me. Which is hard to deal with because he can't just block his creatures and, and let that be enough to deal with him. So you're kind of always forced to kind of race him. And then when you race him, of course, you're in, in bad shape. Um, so I'm really thinking about like the Evolving Wilds couldn't have come at a, at a worse time here. Because if I drop the planes here and then play Midnight Hunting, that means I might have to skip a turn for the Hero of Blade Hole. Um, so I think the Evolving Wilds, I, I just can't do it, I just, I think it's just better to hope for land here. Um, I don't want to skip this turn and not play Midnight Hunting, and I also don't want to skip the next turn and not play Hero of Blade Old. So I'm really hoping to draw yet another land that isn't an Evolving Wild, um, in this case. This is why if having Evolving Wilds in your opening hand is always better. I'm definitely going to block here, because as you can see this is one, one of those creatures that does stuff I can't deal with. And he doesn't have a swamp open at the moment, so he can't uh, use its ability in response to me blocking you. Not that he would want to, with me being the only guy that has a, has a creature on board right now. But who knows, right? Now, of course I don't draw my, my land here, but hey, at least I draw something I'm not going to play right now. <laughs> but it's something I could play, right? I mean, maybe he has some kind of removal that deals damage to my creature. Although I think all his removal is just uh, swamp based and, and thus just says destroy target creature or whatever. Um, and all the stuff that aims at my face, that's the stuff that deals damage. Um, he has some very powerful cards that can... Uh, he has some very powerful removal cards and some very powerful stuff like lightning, which now forces me to discard two, two cards. Um, so Sigil Blessing is really powerful. But hmm, it's probably not as powerful as Loxodon or Hierarch, and I know I want to keep Hero played old. So these two are gonna go. Hmm, this one is really powerful as well. The dang. I hope he's not gonna get rid of more uh, more stuff. I hope also that he doesn't have a kill spell for my Hero Blade old. But uh, I, so I could play Loxodon or Hierarch here. Uh, just because then if he has a kill spell it's used at the Luxodon Hierarch and not the, the Hero of Blade But as you've seen, he also has cards like Blightning. So if he has another Blightning, and I'm there, then I'd have to discard these two. I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to play my Hero of Blade Old here. And just hope for the best, you know. At least if he does have a kill, a kill spell and a Blightning here, that that means he has to kill my Hero of Blade Old now, which means he can't use the Blightning. So that's something, right? And obviously I want to play uh, Wild Leaf Leash before I attack. And I mean, he's going to kill my Hero Blade Old here, I know it. Yeah, there it is, see. But hey, if he didn't, then all my creatures would have been bigger when I attacked. And even this token is still bigger at least, so. Um. Yep. 
And he still has a lot of cards in hand because he hasn't really played much yet. And I'm at the final card. But uh, of course the, the uh, card advantage from Lightning plays a role in, in, in that. At least I don't have a creature with one toughness now. So that's good. Ah, man. I almost don't want to play this until I have one more land out, but... Then I might draw something else I want to play, so that's probably not a good idea. So I'll just play my Lockdown on her up anyways. Um, and the reason is because of his ability. Because for two I can sacrifice it and regenerate each creature I control. So I'd rather have had this when I'm at six mana, obviously. And I'm gonna be at six mana next turn. And if, oh, and again, Evolving Wild screws me over here. Uh, that's just something like... Sometimes you gotta draw draw the Evolving Wilds at the wrong time when you would've wanted a different land. See? If I had if I had the land open now, I would've been so much happier. But nope, he just kills my dude. I could've just regened it and like... Huh. And now I draw a land, of course. Of course, of course. Makes sense. But at least I'm still getting in for 6 damage. Like, he could chump block here, but... Yeah, he'll chump block. Okay, makes sense. But still, he's at 8. He doesn't have anything on the board. Um, I can at least regen this spirit if he tries to kill both of them, so... That's something. Um, I mean, it's looking okay for me, but at any time now he can drop Demigod of Revenge. Right. Um, that's this card. Demigod of Revenge, 5-4, Flying Haste. And when he plays another one, if this one had died, it would come back. Alright. Well, I'll trade this. I mean, I'll trade my Locked on High Rock for his Demigod of Revenge. And if he doesn't block, then he's at 4, so... The, the only problem here is that if he has another Demigod of Revenge, then I'm really, really, really pissed. And he probably does, because... Why not? It's the computer. <laughs> Oh, yes, yes, yes. It's the computer. The computer always has the second demigod of revenge. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? And now I'm in really bad shape. And I'm drawing a land. Superb, excellent. Just what I always wanted, you know. That land, I always needed it. Um, so yeah, I think if I just drew some normal lands instead of Evolving Wilds there, I would have been in better shape. Um, yeah. And come to think of it, this deck doesn't really need uh, many... Well, it has Overrun. I mean, Overrun it needs free mountains to work. This can't make flying creatures, so um, that's the end of that. Let's restart this duel. We don't have to watch the computer kill me. Well, I'm, I'm sorry if you wanted to watch it. You really wanted me to see me uh, go down like that, I guess. <laughs> then I'm sorry for skipping it for you. Sorry for denying you that, that, that fun. But uh, I didn't. I wasn't interested in seeing it. So um, This is another slow hand. Like, really, really slow. Huh. Even slower. Oh well, and again, of course, I, I have, I don't have the uh, evolving wilds in hand, so. And yeah, there's the planes on the field. Just because I have swords, plowshares, even though I know I'm not just gonna use it on two drop. I mean, I have the possibility to, if I really, really needed to. Um, so I guess that was the best play, and. I mean, if he has some land destruction, then he would now think that I have less forest than planes because I played my four planes forest first. A little because I'm playing by planes for forest. What? Um, that thing, that thing is really big and really scary, and I don't have anything to block it in the following turns, so I'm gonna get rid of it. He's gonna get some more really big and even really scarier dudes, and of course this is great removal for. Uh, Demigod of Revenge, but hey, I mean, I can't take four, tur four damage each turn. 
And it's a shame that this guy just brings my hand, my land into my hand, my hand into my land. Brr. Um, yeah. This is this is the time where if I had a webcam, I would just start clawing at my lands with my hand. But uh. <laughs> Oh man, that must sound so weird. But uh, yeah. Two damage! 22. Yes, 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 yes. He's going down to his original number of 20. And next turn he's gonna play his demi 5 demigods of revenge, which he has in his hand. Naturally. Uh, whatever. Play something, I don't care anything at all. He probably has some really good removal spell and just doesn't think it's worth using on this guy. So as soon as I play my first Silk Lash Spider, he'll play it. Cause Silk Lash Spider can kill Demigod of Revenge. But hey, at least I have another Silk Lash Spider. Ah, oh, whoa! I'd never expected him to do that move. So surprising. It wasn't like I just told you guys he was gonna do it. It's funny because the computer is really, really predictable. You just think that the best card he could have at this possible time, and that's probably the card he has. That's how the computer works. Um, at least you can still outsmart it, but... <laughs> See, now I'm screwed because I have to play the Silk Lash Spider. I hope he doesn't have another removal spell. And I would have been able to play my other dude otherwise. My uh, Fertile Love. Although I guess it's better with Kicker, but whatever. So I'll attack for 2, play my Silk Lash Spider, it can block it, and next turn it can kill it. Um, probably not going to be not next turn for it, but hey. Gotta be positive. Gotta be positive, gotta always be positive. And even then I'm just using all my mana just to kill his Demigod of Revenge. He plays another Demigod of Revenge by the way, of course, obviously. Or he plays that on uh, this dude and gets... Of course, he gets a Chaos Warp off of it. Which gi gives me a land. Naturally, naturally. <clears throat> I can't even be mad because I'm expecting all of this to happen. <laughs> I'm not surprised by it, so I can't even be... And now I draw my dude that could have made my spider indestructible. Yep, 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 yep. Well, time for Wild Leaf Leash and Dauntless Tower. Dauntless Escort. Then at least with the uh, Fertile of the Ancient kick to full power I can start making some kind of comeback but I'm dead the next turn so whatever right. By the way he has the, like I said he has the other Demigod of Revenge so I'm dead this turn. Look at this that's the second one he used and what is he gonna get off of it? Wait, what? He just chose not to play it? Um, what was it again? I can't remember. Yeah, and the one before that? Terminate. Huh. Okay, oh yeah, okay, he chose not to play it because my dude is indestructible. Right, okay, it makes sense. Well, I've got a blocker, so that's good. Um, I've got nine lands. I would have loved to pl uh, play this for a lot, but um, for nine lands, I can just play it for six, and then play Midnight Haunting. I mean, I'm not gonna get any uh, any tokens off of this guy, which I would have wanted because that helps me assault him better. But oh well. Like at least I know he'd have to have two removal spells to be able to kill me this turn. So at least I know I'm gonna be able to block this dude. That's a little fast, dude. Okay, just so I can't double block and kill it. Right, 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 right. Man, it seems like the computer is even even worse than last uh, than in 2012. It cheats even even worse than then, or it's just because I notice it better now. And now I draw land, cause I I was I was I had a shot at this game, you know, but a computer decided that no wait, he's playing too good. He needs to draw land right now. Well, I can still jump block it, but uh, here's number two. Oh, Melfagor, sure, you've got one card. Now I have to sacrifice this dude to s 
even survive this turn. <laughs> uh, what? What? Well, draw me a miracle. Call me impressed. Uh, go! Drawing step! Land! Awesome! Amazing! This is gonna be a long one, guys. This is gonna be a long one. Let me take a sip of some... Water. Hmm. And let's continue to try and kick this guy's ass. Nope, not enough lands. No. This could be something. I mean, Beastmaster Ascension with Midnight Hunting is a plan at least, so. Let's go for it. I mean, if I didn't have such a, a hand that at least could do something this turn, then I would have just went back in. Um, but that's not the case. So, good. And Kozali Pride Mage is, well, not the greatest creature, but at least, like, if it's the only creature on the board, then at least it gets its own exalted trigger to work. I mean, if it's the only creature on my side of the board that can attack at that point, then yeah. Okay, I can trade with a Midnight Hunting, so I can trade half a card for one of his full cards. That's good. Um, or I can just give my... Yeah, Kozali Pride Mage with Trample seems good. But I think I'd rather just play Beastmaster Ascension here, so I can start getting tokens on it. Getting, getting counters on Beastmaster Ascension. Uh, Beastmaster Ascension, once, uh, every time I attack with uh, with a creature, per creature I attack with, I get a counter on it. And once I have seven or more counters on it, all my creatures get plus two, plus two. So it's a pretty good card, and especially in a token heavy deck like this, because I'm going to have a lot of creatures to attack with. Um, you might not have seen that in the previous two games, because I've been very much on the defensive. But a card like Beastmaster Ascension allows me to be more on the offensive, because it's more valuable to me to be on the offensive. So it helps out there. Um, I should have given my Kozali Pride Mage a trample. But uh, now, nah, if he kills it now, I mean, there's no reason to have a trample. Actually, no. So, nope, 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 nope. It's better this way. Okay. And I'm, I'd rather play Beast uh, Midnight Haunting anyway, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about! I just admitted that. I um, I like to talk a lot of stuff, and I don't even know if it makes sense, guys. I mean, uh, you might think that I always know what I'm talking about. I don't. I, I talk about a lot of a lot of stuff. No idea. What was I talking about just now? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know what I'm talking about, though. Well, now he's gonna trade here. Then at least I'll have Trample, right? So, yay! I'll at least I'll, I'll deal 2 damage to him anyways. But, uh... I just really want my dudes. Now he can uh, sack his guy and kill my Kozali Pride Mage, though. Um, destroy target artifact or enchantment. Well, there's no point in destroying my own enchantment here, so... But that's weird, yeah, yeah, he's a guy that just does multiple things. And even though the um, Exalted isn't mo the most fitting for this deck, like it's a green-white dude that can destroy an artifact or an enchantment, and that's why I run it. So, of course, that's kind of useless in this matchup, because this deck doesn't have any artifacts or enchantments. Oh well, though, oh well. Um, if I had one more land, this would be so perfect. Anyways, I'm gonna have my seven uh, counters here, so all my guys are gonna be huge. There we go. See, six sixes and seven seven, striking in thanks to Beastmaster. See, so it's a great card there. And now, of course, okay, terminate. Sure, fine. Uh, okay, well, I'm still dealing a lot of damage with those. And Celestia Guild Mage means the next turn. I can pump up all my guys with plus one, plus one. Or I can do it with Ferdelof, but Ferdelof wouldn't pump up the spirit because it only pumps up the Sapperlings. And this guy... Yeah, this gives himself as well. So this 
using his ability instead of playing the Turtle off. If I draw land, means that these two get a plus one plus one counter as well. But uh, it doesn't really matter. But I know he has a kill spell, so I can't just do this. But I also know he can't have two kill spells, so... <laughs> oh wait, his guy can't even block, so... Yeah, so he beat the Ragdolls. Blah 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 blah. We beat Ragdolls. And next game is gonna be against Izzet. Well, my name has been Nemo, my name will still be Nemo next time. You dear viewer, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Oh, 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 oh,